What is up the world of the living? My name is Lex and welcome back to Stone Block. Friends, in the last episode we figured out this thing which frankly fills me with determination and uh, a lot of other things. Mostly cobblestone though. <laughs> this is the cobblestone generator and it takes it quite a long forever to come up with new cobblestone. But it's fine because it is upgradable and uh, that's really all that we want from it. Well, it's not all that we want from it, we also want to actually upgrade it, but, uh, you know, we'll get to that sometime later. It's really just the matter of uh, farming up and sifting more cobblestone, which, again, the cobblestone generator will provide. So, I'm not awfully worried about that entire situation. So, I have no idea what our current quest is. That's it, that's, that, that, that's, the, that's the tweet. I just wanted to let you know that I have no idea what our current quest is. I'm pretty sure it was something to do with hoppers and whatnot, which would be really, really nice, seeing how I'm pretty sure there gotta be an ability for a hopper to take stuff out of the cobble gen. Anyway, uh, let's uh, see, actually, check the current quest. Ooh, they want us to craft a drill. Advanced recipes volume 2 can help. Let's see. Planks, circuit board, stick, stone. And the circuit board is uh, straight up, not here. Fun. Okay, let's see what a circuit board is and how we get one. I, I know, I know, I know where I did this, but still though. Copper ingots, we can afford that. Gold ingot, mm, redstone, and green dye. Well, green dye can absolutely be gotten using the safety sift. Because that will allow us to get some cactus. In fact, I will be shocked, befuddled even, if we don't have any cactus. We don't have any cactus. We don't have any cactus because I am successfully have thrown it all out because I didn't need it. Well then, that's not very forward thinking of me. Still though, both gold and cactus are available via the... Uh, what, is, what did I... Is this emerald? Why did I smell emerald? Can I get an emerald ingot? Unfortunately, I cannot. Okay, that's a little bit upsetting. No, look, we're gonna get, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Gold is available via sifting red sand, and red sand is basically just uh, sifted over and over and over cobblestone. And cobblestone, I've been told, we can actually get a lot of uh, sifted all at once if we just well not sifted but at least processed all at once if we just compress it check this out that's a trap chest uh compressed com compress look at that compressed cobble and now let's try and hammer it and we get nine gravel out of it can we compress gravel though We can! I'm beginning to pick something up here. And I don't like what I'm picking up. Because what I'm putting down is much more impressive. I do- I'm, This actually might take more time than just placing all the nine blocks. This might legitimately be more tedious at the very least, if nothing else. But hey, look. We got our red sand. We just gonna... And I'm guessing if we repeat this like 15 times over, we will eventually get some semblance of the items that we need and we did get two broken gold ore so that that gets us a little bit closer but not really much i mean this entire situation is already at all asked because first and foremost i need to get the emeralds out of my um uh, smeltery smeltificator so uh give me thank mm. you actually it double it even doubles emeralds does that mean that it's gonna double the diamonds Ooh, that's an interesting thought. And hey, luckily I don't even have to go to get all of my cobblestone anymore. I can very much just get it using the cobble jenny. If I'm willing to wait for 15 years for it to actually generate. I'm starting to doubt that uh, the cactus is actually gotten from the red and it might actually be from yellow one also somebody already pointed out this in the comments and i'm gonna just address it quickly 
Yeah, it is about time I made some actual base. With like an actual rooms for stuff. Uh, I'll get on it, I promise, sometime when I'm not too pressed for time with this entire project. Let's try doing copper in the meantime. Ooh la la. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of copper. That's a lot of copper. How many ingots are we gonna get? Four. Wait. Is copper not doubling or am I an idiot? Yep. For whatever reason, copper is one to one. This is very disheartening, actually. Well, it doesn't matter. We have plenty of it, so it's fine. I mean, it is gonna be fine. Until I need, like, more than one circuit board. And uh, that's when it's gonna bite me in the butt. Also, there are, like, upgraded circuit boards. And what am I supposed to do with that? Hmm... Wanderers. I mean, I do need other ones, other kinds, regular kinds, to then level them up. It's just fascinating as all. Also, I don't remember where I'm supposed to even get redstone. I remember having it somewhere. I mean, at this point, I know in this map, probably by sifting, probably by sifting. As soon as I'm done here, I am absolutely making myself more cobblestone generators. Because this fella down here is painfully slow then again it can be upgraded then again to upgrade it i need like a lot of iron so just making an, an, another one is legitimately an easier situation unless an upgraded cobblestone generator will give me upgraded cobblestone hmm? that's a theory that's an idea that's a potential thing mm. i don't know this does feel a little bit faster but I'm guessing that's only because my regular process is even less optimized than this. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some cactus. And there's the cactus. Absolutely amazing. Also sponges. Also like a lot of other random garbage. <laughs> wow. Sifting sand is really um, a fool's errand, isn't it? I'm just getting all sorts of absolutely pointless blocks at least for the time being then again i was saying that about cactus also and uh, look where we at with that uh, why would i even need sponge there's like no water in this entire map give me gold gold have been acquired enough for i'm guessing four ingots which should be plenty mm -hmm. let's see can we smelt even more of the thing, no we cannot, unless we craft the coal in nuggets into proper coal. Which, uh, oh, it's actually a 2x2. Two two. <laughs> well, that saves me a lot of trouble, actually. If you're waiting for this series to have proper inventory management, you're gonna be waiting for, like, a while. Circuit board. Mm. Still, no, still no got no redstone, I don't remember where I'm getting it from. I remember already having, okay, I have one, so... We are perfectly fine. I just need to get the ingots. And then everything is going to be fine. And everything is going to be hunky-dory. And there we go. Right. Circuit board. Two of those. Great. Awesome. I feel amazing. We have accomplished a lot today. What 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 is it I was trying to do? I entirely forgot. Again, this is all much more easily accomplished by just uh, looking up how a drill is made. Yep, that's a drill, alright. Okay, mm -hmm. vow me. Bizarre concoction and contraption. Why do I need you and uh, what is it we're trying to accomplish here? Drill me up, challenge complete. So now you have uh, have the drill and it's already spinning, would you look at that. Uh, why not try and make it a, a slow conveyor? Because I don't want a slow conveyor. I wanna know why, what drill is. I want you to show me. I'll look at the bumper book of blocks to help craft the conveyor belt drill. Man, I love learning. The only thing I love more than learning is reading. The drill is a unique machine that can drill resources. Wow. From certain areas it's placed in. It doesn't require any power or fuel to run. You simply craft it and place it down in the area you wish to drill resources from. The drill has total of 4 upgrade stages, this increase the speed of the drill, allowing you to drill for resources faster. 
Use the, these items in the following order to uh, glass, iron, diamond, amethyst. Ooh, ooh. Simply interact with the drill. Okay, we got glass at the very least, right? I mean, we can get it. Mm, while holding the correct item to upgrade it. Try experiment with different, uh, different areas when placing the drill down. It will even work in, in the nether end and all eight zones. What zones? I'm in the middle of a stone block. Use a regular compass to detect what an what area you are in currently in. This will make things easier. That's fascinating. That's not something I knew. That's something that would have been fun to know like before we got a drill. The drill works extremely well with hoppers and the conveyor belt block. This is where you will start to automate things. If you are not happy where you have placed the drill, sneak and interact to remove it. Okay, so that's the that's the run on the drill and how drill. So we know how to drill now. Um, do I just... Hmm. Okay. Fun. I'm just gonna let you run for a little bit. It made a broken iron ore. <gasps> Ooh, so that's what you do. That you... Why do you have an inventory if you don't have... If you don't need... If you don't put anything in it. How is that useful at all to anybody? Okay, I'm gonna just put it down here and hope for the best. Let's see with the conveyor belt. Vertical conveyor belt, slow conveyor belt. Black wool, circuit board, stone. Uh, yes, hi, how do I get wool? I mean, I can't, pr I can't probably get it from spiders, mm. though. I can absolutely. Uh, and ink sacks are available if you sift... Uh, Something. I remember that ink sacks are available if you sift something. So we just need uh, one single circuit board and black wool. Black wool is the really... the bottleneck. Somehow. In this situation. Please tell me I didn't throw out all of the string I got. Oh hey, that's that's a thought. Didn't we... couldn't we make string out of something else down here? I remember being able to. Oh well, don't matter. Spiders are more available anyway. Told ya. Actually, I already have two ink sacks. Actually, I already have ten ink sacks. <laughs> wow. Be being a horse, there is really walking out for me in this map. Look at that. Conveyor. It really does help that we have basically a better condition equivalent of not enough items already built into the game. And we get four blocks at once. That is good. That is really fun. You really move things along. Uh, now that you now have conveyor belt, try to craft some blood side pots. So it's just not no reason whatsoever as to why or how. No, I, I want this to point out of the drill. And I'm just gonna... So they work like water streams. Which just means that I could have used water streams this entire time. Seriously, I feel robbed. Also, it seems like the cobble generator itself works like a hopper. Judging by all of these garbage materials that uh, cobble generator should not be able to generate. I'm pretty sure this is all being picked up from the uh, from the drill. From the actual thing. So, can I put it uh, in a way where that stuff is actually picked up and moved around? Or do I need to come up with something even more convoluted? Also, what kind of area am I in which this stupid thing is creating potatoes and other random garbage? What is the matter with you, Drill? I like how of all the possible through lines that the series could have had, the one that I'm really going for apparently is just me shouting at, at my own machinery. What is a stone, though? I don't even remember what I'm doing the stone for. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's try upgrading this. Maybe that will yield some results. Shouldn't be too hard. Just plop it with a glass block. Which I could have sworn we already had some of. But uh, apparently not. So it really seems like we can do a lot using the conveyor belts and whatnot. But as, as of the moment... I simply don't see a point to it. 
which I guess is saying a lot more about me than it does about the actual conveyor belts. I mean, sure, they can transport materials and items, but even then, to pu actually put them into anything, I would still need a hopper. And even then, to put them into the smeltery, which I would want to do, I will. I, I cannot put it in the smeltery, is my point. Because... It doesn't require. It doesn't work with a hopper, so this kind of negates the entire thing. Also, have upgraded this to glass now, and uh, how is this any better? I mean, even in theory. <laughs> ah, the, the the internal logic of this entire operation is rapidly getting to me, and uh, I don't like that it is. Seriously, just for giggles, you would want, like, a lot of these conveyor belts, wouldn't you? Uh, not, uh, not a lot of conveyor belts, a lot of these uh, drills and cobalt jennies and everything else. But the trick is that you need to be so developed and so rich to pull it off. I have no idea how much time I would have to pour into this map to fully figure this out and upgrade it. Also, it keeps generating beetroot seeds. I don't know why. And yeah, I keep joking about having to sift for stuff and like... I keep complaining that it's the only process that's like bottlenecking everything. But in th the harsh reality of it is that that's basically the only thing I know how to do. And even that I don't really remember how to now because I don't remember how I get redstone. Which is what I need to make more circuit boards. Which is what I need to make more drills. Which I wouldn't know why it needs a circuit board anyway, because it's again, it's a drill. What do I have to do to redstone? I just, I just want one single bit to make a compass to find out what is it we're actually drilling. And what the zones are. <laughs> hey look, we got some grass out of it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's pleasant. Oh, that's not gonna spread. That's not gonna spread at all. Also, that's not doing us any good because we already have seeds of all the variety we want. And also, we don't have any sheep. So, grasses... Wait a minute, though. Wouldn't grass allow me for some passive mob uh, mob spawning? Well, if it would, then I I kind of blew my shot at it, considering that I only have, had one grass block. Unless this fella wants here to output something else for me. Right. I really need to focus up. They want me to craft some bonsai plots, and uh, I guess I can figure out how that is done. If not, what it does. Wow, that's a lot of iron. Back into the cobblestone mines I go. I mean, I do need to empty out an area for me to live in, now that... All of mine is occupied by cows and other pieces of machinery. Seriously, it's a pot for a tree. How can it take so much iron? Why would it take so much iron? It's a flipping pot. This is kind of where game design uh, meets basic logic. Because game design dictates that a bonsai pot will have to be very, very hard to make. Seeing how it's uh, more or less a tree. It's basically a tree farm in a pot, but at the same time, on the and on the other hand, you gotta realize that oh yeah, wait, a bonsai pot is just you know in real life would be just a pot. In fact, they're usually wooden. So what's your story there? What's your take? Yeah. Oh well, at least we figured out that we can compress coal before sifting. Actually, that's a thought. Can I just sift a compressed gravel? Is that an option? Oh, it doesn't work. I, I bet you the map creators are out there sitting, looking at me being like, why is he sifting all of this trash? We gave him so much machinery that can do this for him. And like, yeah, yeah, they did. But the thing here is that even if that machinery is available, it's still incredibly slow. 
and I have videos to make. <laughs> and on the other hand, even if that machinery is available, it's kind of... They really want me to figure out on my own what kind of materials it can produce and uh, what kind of areas it can be in and all that kind of stuff. And that is just experimentation and uncertainty which Minecraft has trained me to avoid at all costs because Minecraft's own world generation is like the main villain of Minecraft. It will never give you what you want and it will laugh at you for insinuating it should. So as a result, every single Minecrafter is trained to try and stay away from exploration and uh, making new things. Uh, make, like looking for stuff and experimenting with things which is in a lot of ways really really fun and really really interesting but on the other hand uh you go looking for an igloo you ain't gonna find it and as a result your best bet really is to just make your own stuff point being uh yeah give me some ingots There we go. Plenty of them. Actually, it didn't take as long as I anticipated. I feel accomplished and cozy on the inside. Right. Bonsai pot me up and let's mm. see what this does. It's a hopper except flattened a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, now that you have a bonsai pot, things will get easier! Uh, LA Crime Act Press X to Doubt. But you can really get automation going with the Stone Golem! Oh, me oh my, we're about to create life! I hope you feel good and accomplished about this. Alright, so, uh, bonsai pot. Can we plant things in it to finally not have to, like, uh, do anything for our trees? Okay, I'm the poodle. Do I just... Let's hope that there's an article on it somewhere. Wait, what? Why is there bonsai pots by Stoneblock? Why is this? I mean, I know why this the, this is in in here. It's because this functions as a hopper. A bonsai pot is a small is a place to grow small mini versions of your favorite trees. The next couple of pages, you will learn how to use them. Once you place a bonsai pot. You need to add either grass or dirt into the pot. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Then you are free to place any sapling of your choice onto it. Once it's in the pot, it will generate materials based on the sapling type. You can also put either crimson neelium and warped neelium into the pot, which in turn means you can also place crimson fungus and warped fungus in it. The bonsai pot has a small 5 slot inventory to collect materials, however, you can use hoppers underneath them to collect and move the items around. To remove destroy the bonsai pot, just sneak and attack. Yeah, that's zen, that's zen AF. Uh, where's my spruce saplings? I really want a spruce sapling. And also it says like you, you get materials depending on what kind of type of like sapling you put. It never said logs. And uh, this just ate it. Oh, look at that! It's growing! I actually get to look at it grow! Oh, that's a... Oh. Oh, that's adorable. That's wonderful. That's... That's lovely. It just... Grows on its own, I suppose. And then this thing delivers grass blocks in it. You know what? I'm gonna redirect this. And I'm gonna redirect this onto the... On to the other guy that serves as a hopper because he is absolutely not producing enough materials to justify having five slots of inventory. There you go. And uh, yeah, this is wonderful. This is pretty good. What do they want me to do next? Uh, is make a stone golem, but I don't think that I'm gonna 
put any effort into that just yet. I am not ready to create life, everybody. Please ignore that I actually have a son. Oh, look at that! The bo little bonsai sapling that generated some sticks and a spruce log. Well, this is great. I need more of these. Like, really, I'm super bottlenecked at the moment on uh, uh, iron, specifically. Which just honestly makes me think, like, can I get uh, better cobalt production? And the answer is, yeah, I can, if I get more iron to upgrade my, this gener uh, my stone generator. Or I can try and make a second stone generator and a third stone generator and much more stone generators if I spend some iron making the water buckets. <laughs> so I am super bottlenecked on iron specifically. And making iron is basically just a lot of grinding. It's it's a lot of this at the moment. Which, uh, you th it's not that bad to begin with. Like, this this is therapeutic, this is per perfectly fine. But, then you, t then you take into account that uh, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to try and get iron from um, other places. Like the Cobalt Jenny, or something else. Um, or the Drill, for that matter. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to produce some. I don't know anymore. The drill has been outputting just all sorts of random stuff. And I do not have it in me to journal out a cheat sheet. To get all of these uh, all of these materials memorized. Especially since I still don't have my precious redstone to make my precious compass. To find out what is it, uh, what kind of area I'm in to begin with. And what kind of area, uh, what kind of materials I'm safe to assume the Jenny is gonna, the, the drill is gonna produce. So just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna focus on getting a new. So just for the sake of argument, uh, just for the sake of knowing what I'm doing, I'm gonna focus up a little bit. On getting a faster cobblestone generator or more cobblestone generators which sounds much nicer than it actually probably is as we need a full iron block to get the cobalt Jenny up and running or at least up and running faster On the other hand, once that's done, we're kind of golden, we're kind of brilliant, we're kind of okay. Because cobblestone production is, again, the thing that will unlock uh, easy iron. And I know that at one point there has to be an auto hammer. Is there? Come on, I'm pretty sure I saw a recipe for it somewhere. Here's a full block of iron, specifically for this purpose. And here is my future better cobblestone generator. I really am hoping that it actually does something better or other. Really, I'll tr <laughs> Really, at this point, I'm hitting claustrophobia levels of clutter and I'm incredibly, incredibly frustrated by my own inventory by my own uh, living conditions, and by a cow just randomly trying to hump my uh, walking stations. It's really not kind of you, cow. You, you, you do you. Not gonna stop you. Point is, we need to expand and we need to industrialize, which uh, we probably needed to do, like, what, five years ago or something like that? <laughs> Ten episodes ago or so. But look, I'm not really a modded player. Uh, not really a player at all. I'm more of a kind of video production machine with a human attached to it. So I will be focusing on that next time. For now, we have done quite a bit of progress. We now have the drill properly working. We have the conveyors. We have the bonsai trees. We are well on our way to getting things done and set up in a more permanent manner, which is really, really, you know, pleasant for me personally. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Zloy XP. This has been Stoneblock. To be continued. Have a good one. Bye bye.